Hey Craftaholics, I'm Megan Ryan and welcome back to Making the Cut. So last week I showed you how to make the cute little gift bag with the scrunchie that I'm gifting my daughter for Halloween. And so today I have another Halloween craft that is so easy and very, very cheap. So we are making little bean bags that spell boo. And these bean bags are actually filled with rice and you can heat them up and they make wonderful hand warmers. So before you go into the comments and wonder, does my daughter have three hands? No, she does not have three hands, but I wanted boo. And in order to get boo, I had to have three of them. So I figured she could put two in her pockets and then one maybe she could stick on the back of her neck or under her hat or something so that she could use it. But if you're not using it as a hand warmer, these are wonderful for uh, smaller children as toys. They're little bean bags. You can play all kinds of fun games and the little Halloween theme just makes it that much more fun. So let me show you how I made the cut. All right, so let me start by showing you what the rotary blade looks like. So this only works with the uh, Cricut Maker. It's got the little um, gear here that allows it to spin. So you can't use these on the Cricut Explorer Airs, but you can use them on both the Maker and uh, the new Maker, Maker 3. So and it's got a little cover to protect you. And it's just a little spinning wheel on it. It's very sharp. It's easy to change out the blade with just a little hex screw here. And this is how you put in the new blade. So we're gonna take out our old blade, open up your B clamp, pull out your normal blade. This is my fine tip. And then when you put in the rotary blade, you wanna put this flat part of the plastic so that the exposed gear is gonna connect with this gear. So I just put them in like that and then close the clamp. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm just gonna stick this over here so I don't lose those. Now, I am using um, just some cotton a fat quarter that I got from Walmart for 97 cents and I'm going to be cutting straight onto this piece of fabric so I'm going to show you how easy this works okay so I'm going to open up my design space and we're going to just start a new project. All right, so I am going to just make a simple text and I just want to type boo. Okay, we're doing Halloween, so I thought this would be a nice, easy little craft to do. All right, so I want to find something that's gonna be pretty bold, have a little bit of character to it. Let's see about this one. Okay, I like that. So this is BFC Block Toys. And I wanna make it big enough to apply to the hand warmers. So let's go with, make it up to 11 inches. All right, and then I'm going to go to make it. So I am going to be cutting on fabric. So I do not need to mirror my image. Alright, 
So I am going to choose to use cotton fabric. So I'm gonna to go to browse all materials. And then I'm going to select category. I'm using fabric. And I'm gonna say cotton. All right, it is not bonded. We are just doing regular cotton fat quarters. I got these fat quarters for 97 cents. So um, it's a really cheap craft and just a lot of fun to do. So you notice it already says rotary blade. So I've got that loaded and I am ready to press the Cricut button on my Cricut maker. So, and you'll notice I'm using the pink mat. That is a super strong grip mat. And I pressed it a little bit, but not too much. So, and what it does is it just rotates the blade and it makes these super smooth cuts without pulling the fabric. Um, on the Cricut, um, the Cricut Air Explore, um, Explore Air, it likes to grab and um, and drag the fabric and it'll pull it off. So I just didn't like that. So I I prefer the quality that I get with the Cricut Maker on this one. And I'm realizing that I cut my fabric a little too short, but I'm just going to roll with it. So that's it. It's done. I'm going to pull it off and you can see how easily that does it. So, where I cut my fabric a little too short. I'm just going to roll with it. That was my fault because I measured my fabric before I uh, figured out how big I was going to make my lunch. So, but that's kind of cute. I like that. We're just gonna, we're just going to roll with it. So same thing with my own. I'm just going to trim this up. Normally I would be much more careful on that, but it's all good. It just adds a little bit of extra character to it. Okay, so I have my boo. So now it's time to start sewing our hand warmers. We're just gonna sew around the edge here. There we go.
All right, and again, trim it up. So the great thing about this is, since it is Halloween, it doesn't have to be perfect because all the Halloween stuff's kind of different. So, all right, so I have my O. I wanted to start with the O's because I thought that would be easier than starting with the B. So to finish the hand warmer, I'm actually going to put the two pieces together with the pattern on the inside. And then I'm going to sew those, leaving a little gap for uh, filling it with rice. When I get to the edge, I'm just gonna leave the needle in there and then I can pivot it real easily. And then go down the next side. So I can trim these up and then when I flip this inside out, I'll have my little bag to fill with the rice. You can also make these with beans. These are so fun if uh, you're doing it for little kids that you can make little ring, or not ring toss, but little bean bags for them. Um, but since I've got a teenager, I wanted hand warmers, but it can also be used as a bean bag. So this particular craft is just so universal and it's so easy and so cheap. So I'm just gonna push all the little corners with my fingers here. And there is that one. So the strings are just inevitable. But, okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to fill it up with rice. Each of these bags takes about one cup of the rice. Um, and I like to add a little bit of essential oils to it as well. I'm not doing it this time, but um, especially if you're making them for adults. Having the essential oil is just a really nice touch. All right, so you can make your funnel just like that. You want a decent size hole at the bottom. Stick that in there. And then pour your rice in the top. that is the little hand warmer. So I'm gonna just hand sew this up at the top and then it is done. And there you have it. We have our little hand warmers. I finished them off with just a quick little stitch up at the top and then that sealed all of that rice in. If you're using them as a hand warmer or if you're using them for cramps or whatever you might want to use something warm for, 
Um, you just take these, stick them in the microwave for a minute, shake them up a little bit, stick them in another minute, and they will be nice and toasty for you. You can stick them in your pockets, under your hats, stick it wherever you need, maybe toss it in your boots if your toes are really cold, and they're wonderful for the colder weather as it comes. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video and keep on liking, subscribing, commenting. It's really helping the channel grow and I really appreciate all the love that y'all have given. So I'll see y'all next time. Keep on making.